Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here with the release of the final chapter in the, <laughs> I can't even say without laughing, with the X-Men Dark, <laughs> it's the final chapter of the X-Men Saga, 20 years in the making, and uh, anyways, today I figured that we'd take a look back at a set that actually came out in 2012, and there's not really a lot of reviews out there on YouTube, so it's going to be interesting to put this out. And uh, there's really some rare figures here. Uh, I could just talk about the whole relationship between Lego and X-Men in a whole different video. It's, just, it's super unique and super interesting. But anyways, we're going to be taking a look at Wolverine's Chopper Showdown, which is set number 6866. It has 199 pieces. It retailed back in the day for $24.99 Canadian and $19.99 USD. I remember the exact day that I got this. It was April 13th, and I got them with a couple of the other small Marvel superhero sets from the Lego store, and I believe that it had just come out that week. Either It, it was so recent, and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on Marvel sets. And while I wasn't too big of an X-Men fan back then, I didn't even think that I knew who Deadpool was. I was super young back then. Anyways, I knew who Wolverine and Magneto were. So it was really fun to get them specifically. Uh, the build is fine, but really the draw here is the figures. Thanks to the Deadpool movies, that figure is worth up to like 60 bucks. Like it's more rare than some of the Star Wars characters that I have been talking about in some of my haul videos. So it's super interesting to look back at the set now. Almost seven years later, it's interesting to look back at this set and see how far superheroes themselves have come and the interesting parts and different things that were actually introduced in the set. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the set. All right, here is, I guess, Deadpool's helicopter. Uh, it's dark red. So as a kid, I, I didn't really understand this. Like, it, it always baffled me why it's in dark red when he's in red. Um, so I never really understood that. And I didn't understand, is this... Like, what is this? And to my knowledge, it's not really anything. It, it is a Deadpool vehicle. Um, also, something really interesting before I, like, take a look at all the features of the set. It actually doesn't have any stickers. This entire set is one of the few sets that really don't have stickers for superheroes. It's super strange. Um, even the smallest Marvel set had stickers. So it's interesting here with the X-Men, with one of the three only X-Men sets that this actually doesn't have any stickers. So here it is here, and you can spin it around, and uh, it's it's interesting. It has some flick fire missiles, the classic ones, where you have to push really hard to get them out, and uh, it's just reflected on the same on the on the right there. So sorry, the left side. It's the same sort of build. It's it's an interesting build. Uh, it can move like that if you want. You can also grab these fins for whatever reason if you wanted to, and lower them and raise them. You've also got some back propellers there, and you've got the back fin there, and you can, there's not too much going on. You can, however, take off the front, and if you wanted to, you could take one Wade Wilson and go ahead and place him in there like so, so you can sit in his cockpit of, I guess, his helicopter. And uh, you can also put Magneto in the back there if you wanted to. I'm not really sure why you would want to do that. I don't really get what this is. Uh, like... I don't I don't know. <laughs> don't really get it. What's interesting is that you can actually take Deadpool's katanas and you could put them right there if you wanted to so you can hold them because they won't fit with them being in his katana holder while he's piloting the helicopter. So, yeah, definitely interesting. This is uh this is one of the earliest Marvel superhero sets and uh the builds have definitely come a long way, I'd say. Um but it's interesting to take a look back at this. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the other vehicle. Boom, look at that, look at that intro. <laughs> Anyways, this is a it's Wolverine's bike, and uh, it's nothing special. Like, this is very common. I don't think that the gray is rare or anything. Um, this might not even be from the right set, because I, I just went into my Marvel superheroes drawer and grabbed this. I know that Cap has this one in red, and uh, it's not special at all. There's no play features or anything. You can put Wolverine there if you wanted to and have him riding along, or you could take his claws off and actually attach them to the handle of the bike. Here is Wolverine, and uh, yeah, it's a really cool figure. I've actually uh, 
back in the day, you know, when I was younger, I was still playing with Lego a lot, so his face is pretty scratched, and uh, his arms and hands have actually been subbed out so that they're a little bit more stiff for the review. You can see how scratched those claws are, but those are authentic that the actual set came with, and uh, yeah, it's super interesting to see his face print is a little bit scratched off, and um, if you spin him around you can see that he has another awesome facial expression an angry expression with those sharp teeth there looks really cool you can see at the top how the hair is kind of faded uh, with the printing with just rotating the hair back and forth uh, from his normal expression to his angry expression on the back you actually have his cowl printed on it so you can I guess pretend that he has it pulled off right now it's just attached to his uh, yellow onesie um, yeah, it's pretty interesting to me. This figure, its detail is really great. Yeah, I love this figure a lot. Brings me back. It's interesting just to look at this. I think that the one that comes in the other set is probably a little bit better, uh, because I like the cowl, but, yeah, really great figure. Here is the Merc with the mouth, Wade Wilson himself, Deadpool. Uh, this is definitely one of the more rare figures, like I mentioned before, that I have in my collection. And one of the most sought after, I would actually say, like, he's he's a really sought after figure, and I, I'm fortunate enough to have him. Uh, even though, like, I didn't even know who he was back then, uh, I still kept him in pretty good condition, so it's really cool uh, to have him here. It, it's a great looking figure, like, the detail on the torso and everything is really cool. I like, I think that this was the first time that I ever got that neck attachment, so it's really awesome as well. I forgot to mention, Wolverine's claws, those were actually the first appearance of those pieces then. And uh, so yeah, really cool figure. Um, I don't really know what else to say about him. He looks awesome. I always find that the neck attachment was always so distracting and I prefer it with the back printing showing, so that looks really awesome to me. And uh, definitely one of the most non-kid friendly characters that Lego has ever made. I think that this definitely tops it. Uh, cause he wasn't appropriate back then, I would say, uh, before the movie, like, he, that's just who the character is, but it, it's cool to see him pop up in, like, TV shows with, like, Ultimate Spider-Man, um, that's one of the best episodes, I think, is when he's there and, uh, he's kid-friendly and he's still funny, but, uh, in a, in a good way, and, uh, yeah, anyways, that's it for Deadpool. Here is Eric Lencher, right, I think, Magneto, and, uh, really interesting looking figure. This is actually an exclusive helmet here that they made specifically for him. So that's really awesome. He can stand on a two by two round tile to like pretend that he has like uh, like a dish sort of thing. It, it's cool to think now with like Frozone's piece how cool he would look with that. Yeah, really cool looking figure. Purple cape as well. I believe that was the first time ever. So really great figure. Taking his helmet off, you can see some awesome face printing there, and on the back, he's got another angry expression, sort of like Wolverine's. Flipping up his cape, you can see that he has some other back printing there, so that's really cool. Really great figure, and uh, I, I just think that the set here, really, it's only good because of the figures. Back in the day, LEGO used to do something really cool, and I'm really disappointed that they stopped doing this. They used to include actual comic books that they illustrated to represent each of the sets, and they used to do it for each set, not just like a wave of sets. You would actually get an exclusive comic book per set. And this is actually the first one in the entire series. You can flip through and you can see that they've got an advertisement there for the other Marvel superhero sets that came out in the first wave of sets. They also have the first smallest Captain America set there from the Avengers. And they've just got a little comic. It's actually in every single one. Here's like a checklist of all the figures that came in that wave. Spider-Man was coming out later that year. It actually came out in August, so prior to this, sorry, after this set. And you can see here what the comic book is. I love this one a lot. Uh, really cool looking, really cool looking comic. And uh, I miss these so much. I don't know why they stopped making them, but... I really hope that they bring them back at some point. Uh, kind of anticlimactic. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. This set isn't the greatest, but really the figs here are just... They're amazing. Just uh, really takes me back just looking at this. This thing was just covered in so much dust because I, I used to just keep it on a shelf. I didn't really even display it, but it just got covered and covered. And... Uh, it was interesting to go ahead and clean it. <laughs> this set is not one of the best, I would say, in the Marvel superhero line. I actually think that when we take a look at the other X-Men set tomorrow, that is a much better set, in my opinion, and more 
accurate to an actual X-Men set. But anyways, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you all are excited for X-Men as much as I am. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the Marvel Super Heroes series releasing sometime this weekend to coincide with X-Men Dark Phoenix. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you all have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.